days. So how was your first sleepover? Great. Zach's dad dropped me off. All right. So uh, that prank I taught you, you know the one where somebody falls asleep and you put their hand in warm water? Did it work? You fell asleep first, didn't you? Yeah. Did you get them back? I left my wet underwear in the oven. Yeah. That's my boy. Wow, are you sure it's head lice? No, no, no. Thanks for letting me know. I'll check Dominic right away. Okay, thanks. Dominic, stay right there. Right there. Um... You, you might have lice in your hair. What are lice? Um, well, sweetie, they're little bugs. Um, Zach's mom called. She said everybody from the sleepover might have them. Do they sting you? Can they hurt me? No, 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 no. They don't, they don't do anything to you, honey. You're gonna be fine. You know what? You probably don't even have them, right? So there's nothing to be afraid of. Um... <laughs> Oh, you know what, sweetie? I don't even see... Oh, my God! Uh huh? Uh -huh. So, what? what's the name of the shampoo again? Okay. Oh, uh, Logan, honey, stay away from your brother. He's got bugs in his hair. Lo Logan! Uh, hey, Logan! Hold on. Logan... Huh? <laughs> okay, so I don't need a, a, a prescription for this? Okay. Yeah, we'll be right over. Thanks. <laughs> What's Logan doing outside chewing on a piece of bark? Here, I need you to go to the drugstore and pick up the shampoo. I'm going to go over and tell Kim and Greg what's going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do, do Greg and Kim really need to know that our son has lice? It's so embarrassing. They already think we're white trash as it is. Jimmy, come on. We have to tell them that there might be lice in their house. Yeah, but Dominic never went into their house. He, he came straight from the sleepover, through the backyard, and right into the guest house. We can keep him back here till he's no longer a threat. <laughs> no one ever has to know. We can contain this, Christine. Jimmy, if we're going to stay in the house for two days, we're going to have to survive on Pop-Tarts and Oreos. Christine, you don't have to sell me. I'm already on board. Fine, fine. We'll keep it to ourselves. Good. Then it's settled. You know, maybe someone should go over there and talk to him, you know, so he doesn't feel like such a freak. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Logan, come talk to your brother. Hey, can uh, Dominic play with Logan yet? I've been back there playing board games with him all morning. And he, he says it's not fun. Well, if he's not having fun, just let him win. Let him win? He's killing me. <laughs> Kid's like the Bobby Fischer of Candyland. I spent the whole game stuck in molasses swamp, and that damn kid just keeps getting Queen Frostine. Okay, well, um, this has got to stay in for like 20 minutes, so I guess you're stuck here. It's okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Zach's mom felt really bad about all this, so she sent over some cookies. She baked them herself. In your oven? <laughs> No, thanks. <laughs> so, how's life? Mm, good. Yeah? Uh, anything new? Not really. Just the bugs. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The kid's luck is unbelievable. He lands on the longest ladder, and I keep falling down the chutes. Let's see how he does with something that takes a little skill. Where's the hungry, hungry hippos? <laughs>
Hey, what are you doing? Hey, making a list of the things I can't do anymore now that I'm pregnant. You mean like go on roller coasters and stuff? Yeah, I'm making a list of the roller coasters I can't go on. Um, because I'm seven. <laughs> It's a list of the things you're going to have to start doing around the house because I can't. Uh, clean the bathrooms. Fumes. Wash the windows. Yeah, not supposed to be on a ladder. Sterilize the breast pump. Yeah. I saw Jimmy bring it into the guest house. For what? Does it matter? Just boil it. <laughs> How was your day? Well, actually, it was great. Mr. Sabitsky came to me for advice on the studio Christmas presents. Really? Yeah, he wants me to pick out the sweatshirts and the baseball caps with the logos on them. Why is he asking you? Thinks I have good taste. He says he likes the way I dress. Did you tell him that I'm the one who lays out your clothes for you every morning? <laughs> anyway, I think this was a very good day for my career. Picking out the hats. And the sweatshirts. Congratulations. Mwah. I would open some champagne, but I'm afraid Jimmy and Christine would come like cats to the sound of a can opener. <laughs> I don't think they'll hear us. I haven't seen them since early yesterday morning. I wonder if they're mad at us. Why would they be mad at us? Well, the other day you did sort of snap at them for eating all the little marshmallow charms out of the cereal. Kim, Jimmy was taking it off my spoon. Well, maybe you scared them away. Oh, uh, you think? Maybe I will open some champagne. Oh, look, here they come. Oh, my God, I barely even touched the foil. about you guys why well, we were wondering where you've been oh well you know we we just thought we'd give you guys a little bit of space you know i mean we were talking about how we're always over here we're always getting in your stuff all right champagne <laughs> anyway we missed you so we're back you're back or you're hungry we're back and you know i could eat why don't you guys help us set the table okay hey um uh, where are those champagne glasses? Uh, in the cabinet back there. <laughs> Having champagne because Greg had a very good day at work. Yeah, Mr. Sabitsky kind of tapped me for this special project. <laughs> Yeah, can't really say too much about it. It's sort of between me and Savitsky. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little purchase the studio wants to make. <laughs> Afraid I can't really give you any more details than that. <laughs> oh, that's really great, great. Did you get him back? I left my wet underwear in the oven. <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, Sammy. Oh, look what a great little artist you are. I have no idea. Sammy, why do you keep scratching your head like that? Um, uh, maybe he's perplexed. What, that's a word, right? Oh my God, I think Sammy has lice! What? Oh, my God. <laughs> How could this happen? Well, Kim, I told you not to take him to the park anymore. Bums sleep in that tunnel slide. Look, you guys can beat yourself up all day about the how and the where. And look, you're still good parents.
He got it from us. We, we've been treating Dominic for the last two days. Oh, my God, that's why you were hiding. Yeah, I should have known it. Here I was insulting the bums in the park. I should have known it was the bums in my own house. Why didn't you tell us? We thought we contained it. You thought? You had a responsibility to tell us the truth. I know, but we thought... No we matter what. This is just great. Now I have to call and tell every parent in this preschool class. Now, how do you call someone out of the clear blue and tell them you might have infected them? Christine, any tips? <laughs> Very funny. You, you wait till they're at work and leave it on the machine. Anything else you want to share with us? Deer ticks, ringworm, chiggers? Come on, boys, let's go. We shouldn't stay here. No. Guys, wait, look. It happened. We'll get through this. You don't have to leave. Yes, we do. Your kid has lice. Did I catch more bug to Sammy? Oh, no, you weren't near him long enough. Then why are we doing it again? It's just a precaution. What's a precaution? Well, it's when you do something just to be extra careful. Like when you take Daddy's car keys away when you go to a barbecue? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> so, do you um, like all the kids in your class this year? Mm, they're okay. Yeah. Any cute girls? Mom! Well, that sounds like a yes to me. Come on. What's her name? Oh, you're not gonna tell me. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Rachel, Rachel. Rachel, huh? Wow, is she cute? Yeah. And Bianca. Bianca? Yeah, Bianca's really cute. And Katie. <laughs> Anyone else? Megan and Dana and Mrs. Harrison. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a guess. <laughs> How bad is yours? Horrible. Hurry home. I bought enough shampoo for you, too. I'm on my way. <laughs> Warner! Hey, Mr. Sabitsky. Is that a fork in your hair? <laughs> oh, ha, I was looking for that. <laughs> Listen, I need your opinion. Have you got a minute? Well, actually, Which I should... Which the red or... Red. Hey, Warner, I just walked all the way down the hall. How about I just flip a coin? Oh, sorry, Mr. Savitsky. I don't know. Hold him up to the light and uh, turn around. Let me see. <laughs> uh, blue, sir. Blue. Great. Thanks, Warner. You know, that's what I like about you. You're a giver. You're not afraid to give me what you got. <laughs> How do you like this one? Looks good. Let me see how it feels. <laughs> it feels a little tight. Ah, that feels good. <laughs> Opportunities come along in business all the time. It's good for me to know who I can depend on. I don't forget these things, Warner. I don't forget anything. <laughs> Thanks again, Warner. Don't mention it. You're all done, kiddo. Hey, Tomorrow, Mom. same time. Hey, Dominic. Hi, Daddy. You wash his hair again? Yeah. And you do it again tomorrow? Well, you can't be too careful. Yeah, the, uh, the bottle says you only have to do it twice. Yeah, well, the bottle also says 99.9% .9 effective. And if those were surefire odds, we wouldn't even have Dominic. <laughs> Well, 
What's going on? I don't want to stop doing it. What? Well, look, before all this life stuff, when was the last time I actually sat down with Dominic for 20 minutes just to talk? You know, I mean, especially now that he's older, he's always running around with his friends, and then I've always got stuff to do, and, and the day's just gone, you know? I like spending time with him, you know, just him and me. You wash his hair as long as you want. Yes, Mrs. Novick, I know it's an inconvenience, but you only have to use the shampoo for a few days. Yes, yes, just like when you had crabs. <laughs> bye bye. How you guys doing? What you need, Jimmy? You got a strange new rash you'd like to rub up against us? <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to see how you guys were. Yeah, everything's great. Yeah. We're just great. You'll be happy to know that your head lice made it all the way to Savitsky. Oh, man, you gave it to Savitsky? No, Jimmy, technically you gave it to Savitsky. I was just your filthy little delivery boy. <laughs> all right, Sammy, let's go get you rinsed off. Ugh, ironic. I drive eight miles out of my way for organic fruits and vegetables, but now, thanks to Uncle Jimmy, I'm marinating your head in pesticides. <laughs> so what did Savitsky say when you told him? It's not important. Oh, what did he say? I didn't tell him. What? I didn't tell him. You didn't tell him? Oh, like you would have told him. Hell no, I would have covered it up. But I'm not the one who went on and on about you have a responsibility to tell the truth. <laughs> this is different. This is a work thing. No matter what. <laughs> Jimmy, look. I have a lot more to lose than you do. If Savitsky finds out I gave him head lice, that's all he's going to remember about me. Greg, you got to tell him before they get into his beard. <laughs> oh, Greg, the guy eats at the salad bar. <laughs> you know what? You should tell him. I mean, you're responsible for all of this. I, I don't want the head of the studio to think I gave him lice. I got a career to think about, too. Career? You're a security guard. You work a wooden gate. If you don't get termites, your career is safe. <laughs> Now you're going to make fun of my job, huh? You know what? I had to smack you in the head. Yeah, you're just lucky you have lice, and I got hairy knuckles. Hey, Warner! Good call on the tie, Hollywood reporter. Big photo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that worked out. Hey, you play golf, right? We need a fourth on Sunday at Riviera. What the hell? Uh, I'd love to play, sir. Hey, well, maybe we can sneak out now and get in nine holes before the... Sweet mother of God! Um, Mr. Savitsky, uh, this isn't easy for me to say, sir, but I, I think you might have head lice. What? Well, I found out I had it the day after we tried on all those hats together. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. That's why I can't stop scratching. What kind of filthy animal spreads lice at work? I am so sorry, Warner. What's that? For giving you head lice. Believe me, I never would have shared those hats if I had any idea. Well, can you forgive me? Well, I mean, you didn't know. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> I am totally to blame. I never should have taken my nephew to the park. You know, bums sleep in the tunnel slide. I, uh, I have heard that. Oh, hey, Mr. Savitsky. Jimmy? Listen about the head lice thing. You know about that? Jimmy? Oh, no, Greg, you were right. It was my fault. Okay, my kid gave it to Greg's kid, then Greg got it, and he gave it to you. You gave it to me? Yeah, me or the bums. I just wanted to make sure that Greg didn't take the heat for this. It, it Really, it should be me. You know what, Jimmy? You're a stand-up guy. I don't forget things like this. I don't forget anything. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> You're welcome. 